Here I have a dumb solid that currently does not have any features. I'm going to use the Smart Feature Manager that was introduced in PowerShell 2014 to scan the model to find all of the whole features. When I click OK, 41 holes are added to my history tree. I can select any individual feature, provided I know which one it is. But what if I want to select, for example, the four holes in the corners? Well, I know that they're all the same type, so I can use the Smart Feature Selection tool. If I pick on one of these holes, it will automatically populate the dialog box with all of the values and parameters for that particular hole type. I can then scan the model to find all of the holes that have the same definition. I can then, for example, change all of those holes and make them blue. Alternatively, I can scan the model to find all of the holes that are tapped. In this case, I don't want to check by any parameters other than the fact that they are tapped holes. I scan, and regardless of where these are in the tree, I can now operate on them all in one click. So, for example, I can suppress. So now I have a model with four holes that I've changed to blue and five holes that I've suppressed. We've also changed the way in which colours are placed on faces. So I can select a group of faces, simply say I want these to be yellow. Now in single face mode, I select the faces I want to change and these I'm going to make red. If I'm in feature selection mode I can select individual features or multiple features and change those as well. Importantly all of this colour information actually affects the faces of the underlying solid. Which means that if I select the solid and copy it, I can then paste it directly into FeatureCam and all of the colors are preserved. These colors are also preserved if I paste the model into PowerMill and this allows for much faster and easier automation of machining routines.